Every gardener dreams of a soil that repairs itself, one that quietly grows richer and more alive even while you rest. Imagine waking up each morning knowing that beneath the surface, something is constantly working to build humus, restore fertility, and nourish your plants without the need for hauling compost or spreading fertilizers. That isn't a fantasy, it's the reality of planting soil-feeding companions. These plants don't just survive in the garden, they give back, cycling nutrients day and night, fueling microbial activity, and keeping the ground moist and alive. And the best part is that once they are established, the process is practically effortless, a natural system that runs on its own while you sleep. Today, we'll uncover one of the most powerful secrets of regenerative gardening, the use of living plants that act as soil builders. They're more than cover crops, more than mulch replacements. They are engines of fertility, pumping life into the earth around the clock. And if you've ever wondered how farmers from traditional cultures maintained rich soil without modern fertilizers, the answer often lies in the quiet work of these plants. Most gardeners see plants as feeders. They consume nutrients they take from the soil and they demand inputs. But what if the right plants could do the opposite? What if instead of drawing fertility down, they increased it? This is the role of legumes, dynamic accumulators, and certain hardy perennials that transform soil through natural cycles. While your vegetables grow above ground, these partners are busy beneath, pushing roots deep, breaking apart compaction, and exuding carbon compounds that feed soil microbes. What makes these plants remarkable is their constant work. At night, when your tomatoes are resting, these soil feeders are still pushing sugars into the ground, fueling bacterial and fungal networks. While you sleep, nodules on their roots may be capturing nitrogen from the air, locking it into organic forms that will become plant-available nutrition later in the season. They are the quiet night shift of the garden, tireless workers that never stop building. If there is one family that exemplifies this principle, it is the legumes. And among them, clover stands out as one of the most effective soil-feeding plants you can grow. White clover, red clover, and even the smaller Dutch varieties are all capable of something extraordinary. They capture atmospheric nitrogen and deliver it directly into the soil food web. Unlike most plants, clover doesn't rely solely on what's already present underground. Instead, through a symbiosis with rhizobium bacteria, it creates fresh fertility, enriching not only itself but also every crop planted nearby. That is why clover can feed your soil while you sleep. Its root system is constantly active, balancing the microbial community and dripping nutrients into the rhizosphere. Even as the tops grow low and green, the roots are weaving an underground net of living fertilizer. When cut or disturbed, clover breaks down quickly, leaving behind nitrogen-rich organic matter that vegetables and fruiting plants devour. It is a soil's best friend, operating in real time without your constant input. What clover and similar soil feeders do isn't just about nitrogen. They stimulate fungi, particularly mycorrhizal fungi, by sending steady carbon flows into the ground. Think of this as paying rent to the soil life. Sugars flow downward from the plant leaves into the roots, and from there into the fungal highways that stretch far beyond the root zone. These fungal filaments carry phosphorus, micronutrients, and even water back to the plants in exchange. While you rest at night, these pathways are still lit up, traffic flowing in both directions, distributing fertility through an invisible network. This system is one reason why clover-based soils often outperform plots that rely only on compost. Compost is powerful, but once you add it, the material begins breaking down and eventually runs out. Clover, by contrast, is alive. It's not a static pile of nutrients, but a constant stream, a living infusion that doesn't stop just because the wheelbarrow is empty. 
One of the smartest ways to use clover is as a living mulch. Instead of covering your soil with dead straw or chips, you carpet it with a green living layer that shades the ground, prevents erosion, and resists weed growth. While mulch alone protects moisture, clover does that and more. It actively contributes fertility. Roots go deep, loosening heavy soils, while the tops can be mowed or cut back to provide a nitrogen-rich mulch right on the surface. This dual function means clover works 24 hours a day. During daylight it photosynthesizes, storing energy and protecting your beds. At night its underground systems keep delivering to the soil food web. The result is a garden floor that is never bare, never stagnant, and never idle. Your soil is always in motion, always improving, and always fed. To make the most of this secret plant, timing is key. Clover can be sown in the early spring, under fruit trees, between vegetable rows, or even as a fall cover before winter sets in. Once germinated, it begins its work immediately, capturing nitrogen and stabilizing soil. You don't need to dig it in right away. In fact, the longer you allow it to grow alongside your crops, the more fertility it contributes. Integration is what makes clover powerful. If you're growing heavy feeders like corn, tomatoes, or squash, clover acts as a silent partner beneath them, working night and day to keep the nutrient cycle flowing. Rather than exhausting the soil with each harvest, you create a loop, a regenerative cycle, where fertility is being built while crops are being consumed. That is how clover allows the garden to run like a self-sustaining system. Gardeners often ask whether clover can replace compost altogether. The truth is, the two are allies, not rivals. Compost adds bulk organic matter and a wide array of nutrients, but it is finite. Clover adds continuous fertility, living input that doesn't run out as long as the plant thrives. Together, they create a layered approach compost gives the soil structure, while clover fuels the day-to-day -day nutrition. Tracking clover growth and soil tests side-by-side -side with compost-fed beds shows a fascinating pattern. Compost boosts fertility quickly, but then levels off, requiring new additions. Clover starts slower, but then builds and maintains fertility steadily. Over time, the living mulch beds often show richer microbial activity and better moisture retention. It is the difference between a single meal and a constant stream of food. The real power of using clover lies in the vision of a self-feeding garden. Instead of depending entirely on outside inputs, you create a soil that runs on its own cycles, enriched daily by the plants you grow not for harvest, but for fertility. This is how ancient gardens thrived, this is how sustainable farming works, and this is how you can reduce costs, labor, and dependency on external fertilizers. With clover, your soil is never left hungry. Even in the off-season, even while you sleep, it is working. The microbes are alive, the roots are exuding, the fungi are delivering. And when you return to the garden in the morning, you're stepping into a living system that is more fertile than it was the night before. The secret of clover and similar soil-feeding plants is that they do the work for you. They enrich, they protect, they fertilize, and they never stop, not even at night. By weaving them into your beds, orchards, or paths, you transform the very ground beneath your feet into a living factory of fertility. It is the simplest, most natural way to feed your soil while you sleep. If you want your garden to thrive with less effort, if you want to wake up knowing your soil is richer than it was yesterday, then bring clover into your system. Watch as your crops grow stronger, your soil grows darker, and your labor grows lighter. This is gardening the way nature intended, alive, regenerative, and always working. For more secrets to building fertile, self-sustaining soil, don't forget to subscribe to Hydro Haven and share this with other gardeners who dream of a garden that feeds itself. Together, we can bring back the practices that make soil come alive.